Hi, my name is Flick. I'm a naturopathy student and today I'll be talking about what university I study at here in Melbourne. So a few years ago when I was in my first year of study, I actually made a YouTube video about why I decided to get into naturopathy. And surprisingly, this video actually gained quite a few views for a newbie like me anyway. I think at the moment it's sitting on about 5,000 or so views, um, which was really, really good. From that, a lot of people actually ended up reaching out to me via social media asking about which college or which university I study at and why. At the time, I did feel like that was something Something that I personally wanted to keep private and in today's video I'm actually going to be discussing where I actually go to uni, why I decided to keep it private and why I'm deciding to open up more about it now. And since I don't want this video to drag on forever, I'll also be making an additional video to support this one, which basically talks about the process as to how I made, made the decision on which university to go to. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned because I plan to upload that one next. Now, since I'm a person who hates sitting through like 27 minutes worth of useless information before the person finally gets to the information that we've all been sitting here waiting for, here is the answer to the million dollar question. Yeah, it's really not a million dollar question. Where do I attend university for naturopathy? I attend university at Southern School of Natural Therapies, which is also now called Torrens University in Australia. So I'm sure you're probably wondering, why did I keep where I went to uni private? I guess to answer this question, there are kind of two main reasons. Number one being basic privacy reasons. Reason number two has a little bit more to it. Basically in a nutshell, people who were reaching out asking me where I went to school were obviously people who were interested in studying naturopathy themselves and I think when they asked me where I went to school they weren't necessarily wanting to know like my decision on where to go to school they were probably seeking guidance on which school they should choose if you know they were going to go down this route and in that they were probably also wanting to know you know which school was going to be better however as I mentioned when I first uploaded that video I literally was only in my like first year of uni I'm pretty sure I was only about a quarter of the way through the course I really didn't have a lot of experience or like guidance to even shed so I didn't feel like it was right to lead someone down a that particular path. And in addition, I have never actually attended Endeavour College, which is the other major provider for naturopathy in Australia. So therefore, I really can't give a comparison on which school is going to suit you better. However, as I mentioned, there was a little bit of a process that I took in order to come to make a decision that was going to be right for me um, to choose to study at Southern School. If you're interested in that process, I plan to make another video about that. So definitely stay tuned. So why now? Why have I all of a sudden decided to open up where I attend naturopathy? As I said before, one of the main reasons as to why I didn't really want to share where I went to uni in the first place was for basic personal privacy reasons. But I've come to realize that that reason is probably pretty obsolete now uh, for three main reasons. Number one, due to the current COVID climate, you know, AKA lockdown in Melbourne, classes are pretty much all run online at the moment anyway, nearly all of the classes. Number two, I realized there's pretty much two main unis to choose from in Melbourne. So it would have been either of the two that I attended. And three, most importantly, or most impo importantly for me anyway, I am actually in the final two years of my study. So that means I'll actually be going into student clinic, which means I'll be able to start seeing clients as such in the student clinic. Yay! <laughs> And obviously to be able to get clients, I'm going to have to tell people where I go to uni so that they can see me at that uni. So side note, if you've never heard of student clinic, the unis have what we call a student clinic. So basically there are modalities of naturopathy, nutrition, Western herbal medicine, Chinese med, acupuncture and myotherapy that are available to the general public. So you don't actually need to be a student to be able to access those services. And it's really good because those services are very affordable compared to say going to a fully qualified practitioner. So if you're maybe on a budget, that's a great opportunity for you to experience, you know, seeing a naturopath or a nutritionist at an affordable price. The main difference is that with the student clinic, you're obviously not going to be seeing a fully qualified practitioner. You'll be seeing a student. Don't be alarmed because it's a learning environment 
assignment, the students actually need to go back to their learning facilitator, aka their teacher, to discuss treatment plans and treatment outcomes before they can prescribe anything to you. So everything is basically supervised and very much safe. So if you're interested in seeing a student practitioner either at Torrens or at Endeavor, I'll link the links down below for you to book an appointment. I personally haven't started in student prac yet, but I will be very, very soon. So if you're interested, you can go and follow me on Instagram at flick underscore wellness, and I'll be posting updates on when I'll be in student clinic. So another reason as to why I decided to finally open up about where I attend university for naturopathy is because as I said, I am in my final two years of my studies so I feel like I have I guess a little bit more experience or light to shed as a student at Torrance but as I said I will be making another video on the process that I took for deciding which university to go to although the process is probably applicable to most people I feel like the overall decision on which university you ultimately decide to go to is going to be unique to you just because Torrens was right for me it certainly doesn't mean that it's going to be right for you and Endeavour might be better for you, but that's going to be different for each individual. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my video for today. I hope that it was somewhat useful or somewhat enjoyable perhaps to listen to. And as I said, if you're interested in listening to the process for choosing which uni to go to, um, stay tuned because that will be coming next. But anyway, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Take care.